No se escucha. Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> Como que ya me conocen, right? Thank you. Uh, let's see. Hello, Raquel and Dora that is coming. Okay, welcome back. The last day we are almost can try to, try to finish this lesson that we have for today. Okay, so in, the, in this lesson, right, vamos a hacer un review del vocabulary, vamos a también a review de los temas que hemos estado estudiando, the topics, and also vamos a learn more vocabulary. So let's go with the, the topics, right? Okay, vamos a aprender this vocabulary. Okay, nos va a ayudar to read the lesson that we have for today. So we have, for example, the eyes, the lungs, the diaphragm. We have also the veins, the stomach, the heart, and the brain, right? The brain. Another part of our body is the head, head. Then we have the eyebrow, the eye, ear, nose. We have back. Um, we have shoulder. We have chest. And we have stomach. We have the thumb. Uh, then we have the hand, then we have the fingers, right? The hip, la cadera, hip. Then we have the knee, knee, this part, and ankle, and the wheel, ankle. Okay, then we have the toe or toes. Tenemos foot y tenemos feet también, right? Okay, in the case that, que en el caso que tengamos el feet, lo vamos a utilizar cuando eh, sea el plural, right? Plural, plural. Feet. Feet. Ocupar para el plural. And then we have foot, that it is singular. Hmm. Then we have leg, la pierna, leg. Then we have the neck, throat. Then we have the elbow. Then we have arm and wrist, right? Esta parte, wrist. Then we have chin. Then we have tooth, teeth. And mouth también, mouth and hair. Okay, questions about the body parts? Questions? No sé si hay dudas. ¿Cómo es que se dice? Wish. Um, I don't know. Wrist. Yes. Wrist. ¿Cómo? Wrist. 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 Uh -huh. Wrist. Wrist. No se pronuncia la W. Wrist. Ah, ok. Gracias. Okay. Me is, is throat or throat? Okay. Throat, right? Ah, uh, throat. Yes. Ah, uh, throat. Throat. Okay, vamos a escucharlo para que yeah. puedan ver la pronunciación también. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, no sé si es el tobillo o el pie. Um, uncle, ¿cómo se dice? O. Oh. Uncle, el tobillo. Uncle. Uncle. Yeah. Así se dice. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uncle. Yeah. <coughs> uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Vamos a escuchar entonces. We're going to listen the pronunciation para que ustedes, for you to repeat, right? Teacher. Oh, yes, Jose. Welcome. Teacher, una consulta. Diferencia entre food y fed. Okay. Eh, feet son los pies, right? Feet. Y el solo uno, one. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, I have two feet. 
Okay. I okay. have two feet, right? Mm. Have one right foot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Lo mismo pasa with los dientes, right? Tooth and teeth. Tenemos un, un diente que aprendí esta semana que es el wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth. Eh, Son estos que aparecen hasta el final. Wisdom teeth. Cordales. Eh, that one. Uh, en los que no ocupamos para nada, right? <risa> son muy dolorosos, painful, painful. Ok. And so expensive, right? To extract them. Un caro. To extract them. Very expensive. Great questions about any other word? Uh -huh. No, ok, vamos a escuchar uh, the, the vocabulary, right? Vocab. Sí. This class audio prints book, CD3, Parts of the Body, Part A, Listen and Practice. Head, <laughs> Eyebrow. Eye, ear, nose, hair, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, Arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, hip, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Okay, there you have the vocabulary. Is there uh, someone who wants to read the vocabulary? Practice right? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Let's continue with the lesson. This is part of the vocabulary that we are going to use, right? Later for uh, the lesson. Okay, so, como es un review, a series of review, right? We are going to practice. Uh, two, we're going to go to the breakout rooms. And mainly what I want you to do is to ask the question to your partners and mainly discuss, right, about these questions. So but that is basically what we are going to do, mainly speak. For that, I'm going to give you, let's see, um, 10 minutes for you to talk, and then you tell me what you discussed uh, in the breakout rooms. So, questions about the activity? Mm -hmm. Mainly talking, right? We're going to discuss this part. No? Okay, good. Well, let's go then to the breakout rooms. Let's see, we are 12 today. The others started vacation. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Dennis, to the breakout rooms. Okay. 
Hola, hola, Denise. A ver, yo, Alison, Denise, Dora. Okay, hi Stephanie, we are okay, there you are. Dora, Sofia, Sofia. Hello Sofia, um, we are working in the breakout rooms. Hello. Um, okay. I'm going to send you to the breakout room. Mainly what we are doing is discussing some questions that I shared in the group. So mainly that, that is what we are doing. I'm going to send it to you, okay? Okay. Okay. Dora, hello, Dora. ¿Cómo está?
Grande. Good evening. Hello, hello, Jonathan. Good evening. Uh, we are working in the breakout rooms. Give me just two minutes for ending the meeting, and so we we'll come back. Okay. Okay. Teacher, me enviaría eh, la invitación. Solo un minuto, les queda a ellos, ya, ya van a regresar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, Dime solo un minuto, ya van a terminar. Ok. Okay, we're going to discuss these questions. Okay, mainly what we are doing is to speak. Let's practice. So we have, uh, what do you do in the morning? What do you do in the morning, Jonathan? Mm -hmm. What do you do in the morning? I wake up. I am shower. Mm -hmm. I no, take pardon. a shower. I take a shower. Uh, I go to the work. You go to work. Okay, excellent. What do you do in your job? What do you do in your job? Don't finish the. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. so we're going to practice, okay? Yeah. Here we're going to practice. Okay, let's let's continue. Okay, Jonathan, please continue. You said that you go to work after that. What do you do? Um, I take no. Mm -hmm. I take Breakfast? Diana. I have breakfast. Breakfast. Hmm? You have breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. You uh, wake up early, you go to work, and then you take your, uh, you have your breakfast, right? Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. Let's continue with the second question. Let's see. Uh, Gabriela, number two. How do you get to work? What happens there? What do you talk about to your workers or how do you interact with your supervisor customers? Uh, how do you get es como, como llego? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I get in bus. <laughs> okay, I take the bus. Mm -hmm. take, the take bus. The bus. What's happened there? Well, I take my breakfast and then I start to work. Mm -hmm. 
And what do you talk about? I talk about the, about the English class. <laughs> okay, okay. My co-workers are here. <laughs> uh, how do you interact? Mm. How can I say me llevo bien? Oh, I like them or I'm good with my friends. Yeah. I'm good with my supervisor. Yeah. You have a good relation. I'm good relation. You have a good relationship. You have a good relationship. And uh, yeah, right. You get to work by bus, right? You speak about the class, the English classes. And uh, also, you have a good relationship with your supervisor, customers. Yeah, basically that, right? Okay, that's good. That is your opinion. Okay, so let's listen another piece. Um, let's see, Alejandra, what about number three? What do you think about your job? What do you think about your job? Teacher, me puede decir que dice en español, por favor. Hey, what do you think? ¿Qué, qué piensa de su trabajo? What do you think about your job? ¿Qué qué? ¿Qué piensa de su trabajo? What do you think? Mm. Ejemplo, do you like it? Do you don't like it? Sí, do you like? Yes. Like. You like sí. your job. I like. Mm -hmm. Why? Porque es como uh, ¿cómo creative. ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo decimos por qué? How would we answer? Because. Um, because. Uh -huh. um, no sé cómo, cómo se podría decir como porque es creativo. Ok, my, because my job right. is creative, right? Creative, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's community. Hey, what do you do? What do you do in your job? Uh, community manager. Oh, community manager, right? Yes, you have to be very creative. And mm -hmm. creación como de contenido, de piezas. Oh, that sounds interesting. And create some designs, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Okay, you are good for publicity. See, sí. this is called. Okay. okay, you're good for publicity. That's that's good. nowadays it is essential to know and to manage publicity very well. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you. Okay, so let's go with the next um question. Can you help me? Let's see. Uh, Jose, please. What is your teacher doing? What is your teacher doing? Uh -huh. What is your teacher doing? Um, preguntando, teacher. Mm -hmm. Asking. Asking, okay. La oración asking. Completa. Asking the class. Mm -hmm. La oración. Asking the class. The complete sentence. Okay. ¿Cómo haremos la complete sentence? ¿Qué utilizamos? What do we use? Um, she. Mm -hmm. She. Primero, right? She, mm -hmm. she does. Uh, no. She is? She, she is. Okay. Yes, right. She is asking questions. Asking. Mm -hmm. Questions. Oh, That's right. Okay. ok, recordemos, por eso es importante, pay attention, el tipo de preguntas, right? Acá tenemos el verbo Mercury and Agente, right? So, we are answering this with the same factor. We can do that too. Okay, thank you, Jose. What about number five? Let's see, uh, Stephanie. What do you do after job? What do you like to do with your family and friends? My family think it's facile, easy. Yeah. Easy, easy, mm -hmm. easy. But no, it's easy. No, not at all. Okay, okay. It is not easy. You're, okay, but what do you do after work? ¿Qué es lo que se después del trabajo? What do you do? Um, 
antes, o sea, no sé cómo se dice antes, este, I going to the gym. Ok, before hoy. I used to. Me di, ya no, ya no voy. <laughs> I used to go to the gym. But now, but now, I don't do it anymore. I don't do it, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't do it. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, what do you like to do with your family? What do you like to do with your family? What do you? Uh -huh. What do you like to do? No, eso no lo entiendo, teacher. ¿Qué, ¿Qué le gusta hacer con su familia? What do you like ah, to do? Uh -huh. Or friends. Está eso que está diciéndome. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Um, uh, uh, ir de paseo, ¿cómo se dice? Like for a walk. Uh -huh. Or, for example, to visit some places. O, o trip. Or trips, I like to go. Or I like I, to go. Like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I like the trip. Mm, you like to trip, okay. Yes. Okay, that's good, right? Or to go for a walk or some others, some other activities. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Stephanie. So let's continue with the next one. Okay, let's talk about feelings. Feelings. Let's see feelings. Um, Andrea, tell me. Um, how consider... How do you consider yourself right now? I mean, are you happy? Are you sad? Are you tired? Mm, I am tired. You are tired, right? It is the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. I understand that feeling. Okay, thank you, Andrea. What about uh, you? Let's see, Dennis. How do you feel today? How do you feel? No problem, Karina, no problem. Mm -hmm. Dennis, how do you feel today? Um, the microphone is not working. Hello, Dennis. Mm -hmm. Creo que tenemos problemas con el audio, Dennis. No, no se oye. Okay, let's do something, try to fix that. And then I'm gonna go back with the questions. Okay, Denise? Okay, so let's continue. Let's see, Cynthia, how do you feel today? How do you feel right now? I'm thinking about my friends. Mm -hmm. um, two friends is in class. <laughs> the two friends, okay, are in the class, okay. Okay. The okay. other friend, mm -hmm. I think they go to the the party. I don't know. My friend is Tom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really? Very party. He likes parties. Party. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, too much work, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. The he likes other, the safari uh, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it's okay, uh, Cynthia. Okay, guys, so this was just some of the questions that we have been reviewing. We have, uh, for example, the present progress, right? We have questions that we have studied. Present perfect, the present perfect, the simple present. So you I have knowledge about these topics. You can ask or questions about, but as a review, right? About the structure of these tenses. Mm -hmm. No questions? No? Okay, so let's go over the topic that we are going to discuss today. It is going to be about some medications, right? You must have been to the expert, right? Wendy, that she knows a lot of medications. So let's see how some of them 
we use them, right? Vamos a ver la pronunciation. And uh, I must, right? There are more, but these are like uh, los que más utilizamos. Okay, let's listen. Mm -hmm. We discuss the vocabulary. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ahora sí, Denis. Let's listen. Page 80, exercise 5, snapshot. Common medications. Listen and practice. Cough syrup. Cold pills. Antacid. Muscle cream. Cough drops. Eye drops. Aspirin. Nasal spray. Okay, we're going to repeat again the vocabulary. So try to repeat it there by your own. Let's listen. Snapshot. Common medications. Listen and practice. Cough syrup. Cold pills. Antacid. Muscle cream. Cough drops. Eye drops. Aspirin. Nasal spray. Okay, there you have the cough a syrup, right? This is el jarabe. Jarabe para la tos. Um, then we have the, the cold pills, right? And then we have the antacid, the cough drops. We have the eye drops. Then we have the muscle, right? Cream para los muscles. Then we have the aspirin, the nasal spray. So do you take any of these medications? Do you take any of these medications? What about uh, you, maybe? Do you take any of these medications? Do you take any, maybe, of these medications? No. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, perfect, maybe. What about you? Let's see. Um, okay, what about you, Jonathan? Ah, oh, no, Wendy, Wendy. Sorry, Wendy. Do you take any of these medications? And sometimes... Mm -hmm. I take uh, antacid. Antacid, yes, right. Yes, for the stomach, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I have the same problem too, right? When we eat like spicy food, that is something that can hurt spicy, right? And the spicy food, that can be a problem when you, uh, with your stomach, right? Okay, so I want to listen to some of you to read this vocabulary. So let's start with Andrea. Okay, Andrea, vamos a leer the vocabulary. Can you help me, please? The cough is true. Mm -hmm. The cold pills, antiacid, muscle cream, mm -hmm. muscle cream. Muscle cream, mm -hmm. I yeah. drop of drops, mm -hmm. of drops. Uh, cup drops, uh, aspirin, mm -hmm. and nasal spray. Yes, right, we have the nasal spray. Very good. Okay, thank you, Andrea. So, questions about this part? No sé si hay alguna duda. Questions? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, good, guys. So let's continue. Page. Okay, let's see. Give me just a moment, guys. When I have this, it means that the computer it is not working. It is like just see 
Okay, sorry for the time guys. Yeah, sometimes it happens with my computer. Okay, so let's continue and uh, let's discuss about this, right? About um, some bad things that can happen to our bodies, right? Okay, when you are sick, right? When estamos enfermos, uh, we sometimes ask what fast. I mean, what's wrong? What's wrong? Is that in mind of something, right? What's wrong? How are you? Como estás, right? How do you feel? Okay, so we can answer, I have a headache, right? I have a dolor de cabeza right now. I don't feel good. I have a backache, right? Tenemos dolor de espalda. I have a the other one is I have a flu, right? I have a flu. And uh, then we have a, uh, I feel sick, right? Tengo gripe, this one, right? Sickness, enfermo. I feel better, me siento mejor. And I don't feel well, me siento muy bien. Okay, so this is like a common word. To say how we feel. Okay, tenemos los negative adjectives. Por ejemplo, si usted se siente mal, right, you can use any of these adjectives. You can say horrible, awful, right, terrible, miserable. En caso que sean adjetivos eh, positives, y se sienta mejor, you can say fine, great, eh, terrific, right, and fantastic. Questions about the course? Mm -hmm. Questions? In case we have, we will use a noun. Right. We will use a heavy, bad, and flu. And when we are using a feel, we will use an adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay, questions about this part? Sí, esa última parte, teacher, no lo entendí. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, cuando usted tiene have, eh, vamos a utilizar una palabra, right? Un now, que sería, por ejemplo, a backache, a earache, a headache. Tengo dolor de cabeza, tengo dolor de cuerpo. So that is going to be the noun. Dolor de estómago, a stomach ache, a toothache, right? A cold también, cuando tengamos algo. En caso que estamos utilizando feel, feel, vamos a utilizar feel, en este caso, no Vamos a utilizar un adjective. I feel sick, I feel horrible, I feel great. That's it, right? Okay, when it's questions, siento, 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 feel bad. Teacher, when I say, for example, I, I'm fine. Is that it? I feel I'm fine, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Solo es así, eh, no tengo que ir más, agregarle más nada. Pero, o sea, Siento I'm bien fine. Y ya. Es como, como yo le diga, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo estás este día? Estoy bien. I'm fine, I'm fine. Eso sería. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, I'm fine. I am fine. I'm fine. También podemos decir, I feel ok. It can be. Okay. That is another way. Just, just okay.
teacher. Uh -huh. O sea que I feel I, es como, digamos, cuando nos referimos como a estado de ánimo o, uh -huh. o a estado uh -huh. de salud. El verbo feel es sentir. Exacto. Es sentir, right? me siento. <coughs> Okay. En cambio, el have, eh, recordemos que es tener, right? Yo tengo dolor de cabeza, tengo dolor de espalda, etc. Okay. Uh -huh. ok, tenemos some of the, the words, right? Estas palabras las podemos utilizar con el has. Okay. Con el has, con el has, o el have también. This one, right? Por ejemplo, uh, for example, we can say, he has, right? A backache. He has. Right? He has. He has. He has a backache. And he has an earache, right? The Lord, we have a headache. Uh, then we have a stomachache, right? Well, I have a toothache. Then we have a cold, which is un resfriado. Then we have a cough, right? Um, I think it is like that. Dos, yes, and we have a fever, right? Fever it is la fiebre, fever. Then we have flu, que es una gripe. Los dry eyes, que son los ojos secos. Then we have a sore throat, sore throat, que es un dolor de garganta. Okay, questions about the vocabulary? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tengo una sorry. duda. Uh -huh. eh, siempre se debe utilizar I have a head, head, head ¿cómo es? Oh. Eh, y también se puede decir I feel head chat. I feel headache. I feel Ajá, headache. Porque en el español es uh, tengo un dolor de cabeza. I have a head. Uh -huh. Y el otro es eh, Podría decir, I feel health. Por ejemplo, siento un dolor de cabeza. Tampoco, o, o es correcto también. Ok, eh, recordemos que la estructura tendría que buscar quizás el adjetivo. Si vamos a utilizar el feel. Si lo vamos a utilizar uh -huh. con feel. Tendría que buscarle el adjetivo. Pero no, no. No, no. No estoy segura si existirá el adjetivo de that. Right. O de esto así. Ok. Pero no, el tema debe ser mejor de esta forma. Hasta donde sé, no he encontrado ahorita un artículo que se de esto. Así que mejor dejémoslo ahí. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿alguna otra duda? Okay. Okay. Let's see, vamos a tener un artículo. No, nunca lo he escuchado, ¿no? It can be right. It can be. No. No, no podemos decir I feel, I feel backache, no. Uh -huh. Ok, any other question? Any other question, guys? Ok, so uh, tell me, tell me, veamos, a question. Ok, let's see, uh, Wendy, number one, vamos a utilizar backache. I'm going to ask you a question and you are going to answer me. Okay, what does, what does he have? What does he have, Wendy? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you the question and okay. you are going to answer the using the picture, right? And the phrase. Okay. Tengo que responder nomás. Exactly. Okay. What does he have? What does he have? Oh, she has. Mm -hmm. 
she or he. Perdón, he. Exactly. Mm -hmm. he, he has a terrible because mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he has had, ha, no sé cómo se pronuncia. A backache. A backache. Backache. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. What does he have? What does he have? Okay. He has. He has. Terrible. I'm going to say that. Terrible. I'm going to say that. Terrible. I'm going to say that. Terrible pain. I'm going to say that. Terrible. He has. A. Backache. Mm -hmm. That's good. Excellent. So let's go with the next one. Can you help me? Let's see, Sophia. Let's go with the earache. Right, let's go with the earache. Okay, what does he have, uh, Sophia? He has an energy. Mm, very good, okay. He has, again, he has an Earache, right? Earache. 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 Okay. Por acá la pronunciación. Porque si es use not that one. Tiene que ser earache. Tiene que ser así, right? Like earache. Okay. Earache. Okay, let's go with the next one. Esto prácticamente no es así, right? Solo para que pudiéramos pronunciar. Okay. So let's go with the next one, please. Um, let's see, Alison, please. Tenemos que de 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 que she has a health ship. Okay. Okay. Very good. She has a headache. Very good. She has headache. Very good. Excellent. Okay, what about the next one, Magali, please? Let's go with this guy. What does he have? What does he have in Magali? Magali, what does he have? Tenemos la palabra. We have the word stomach. Stomach. Okay. I'm going to write it here. Stomach. Okay, tell me, Magali, what does he have? What does he have? Uh, I don't know, teacher. No, 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 no sé. Mm -hmm. Okay, lo vamos a hacer juntas, Magali, okay? Okay, what does he have? Vamos a utilizar el he right. Lo primero. Ok. Ok, vamos a hacer la oración. He has a stomach ache. He has stomach ache. Tiene dolor de estómago. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, that's, that's the sentence. He has stomach ache. Very good. Okay, thank you. Vamos con la siguiente. Let's go with the next one. Okay, let's see. Let's see. The next one. Can you help me? Alejandra, please. What about this guy right here? What about this person? He has a toothache. A toothache. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos la oración? What does he have, este, eh, Alejandra? Uh -huh. What sería no? La pregunta es, 
What does what have? Does. Porque estamos hablando de él, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does he have? Has? Okay. Toothpaste, right? A toothpaste. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Uh, tooth. 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 Así como pronunciamos el, number, el número tres. In this way. Mm. Ok. Tooth. Toothpaste. 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 Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ake, ake. Ok, déjame ver. No, no existe eso. Eso no. Ok. Something like. No es una F, no es una F. Eso es una en español. Pero, uh, in this way, you put your tongue in the middle of the tip. Ok. So, what about, um, let me ask it to you. Hoy se lo voy a hacer la pregunta a usted. What do you have? What do you have, Andrea? Usted me va a decir. Cool. What do you have, Andrea? I have a cold. Excellent. I have a cold, right? Don't get glad. Okay. Are you, how do you feel? How do you feel, Andrea? How do you feel? How do you feel? I am feel, uh, mm -hmm. fine. Okay, oh, I am great. fine or I feel great, right? I feel great. I feel great, Andy. Okay, Andrea. Ok, tengamos cuidado, por ejemplo, si decimos I feel, I, I am feel. No, o utilizamos el verbo to be o utilizamos el to be. Ok, I feel great, I feel uh, fantastic, I feel miserable. Ok, it's about this part, no sé si hay Uh -huh. ahí, uh, teacher, ahí de un solo se va a responder I feel I fine, I feel I, 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 great, no se va a decir I am No, I am feel no, no 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 puede tener usted dos verbos en esta forma a menos que estemos utilizando el presente continuo right? uh -huh. que sería con el ING que es el tiempo que ya vimos Ajá, correcto Solo de esa forma, sí, ¿verdad? Pero si no lleva el, el ING, no. Ok. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces vamos a quitar el A. Uh -huh. Ok, that is going to be the way. Ok, tenemos some other expressions right aquí. Useful expression. Tenemos that's good. I'm glad to hear that. That's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. In the case that, for example, you said, I don't feel so good today. Um, I can speak. That's too bad. Okay. So let's practice. Oh, okay, let's practice. I'm going to be a friend. I'm going to be your friend, Cynthia. Are you there, Cynthia? Vamos a practicar. Okay. okay. I'm going to be your friend today. Okay. How are you today, eh, Cynthia? How do you feel today? I feel good, but I feel tired. You feel good and you feel tired. Uh, what do you have? Uh... Mm -hmm. What uh -huh. do you have? I have. I have. Mm -hmm. uh, the little. I have. I have the bed. 
I have, I'm sorry, no, no, I didn't listen, uh, Sylvia. I have? I have the little fever. Okay, you have a fever, you have a fever. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you can go to the doctor. Maybe you can go to Wendy's office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Okay, questions about that part? No? Okay, good. Don't worry, guys. We're going to have time to practice. And now, vamos a la parte donde usted puede, eh, por ejemplo, dar como unos recommendations, right? Okay, por ejemplo, for example, we can have imperatives, right? Estos son, son los que se utilizan cuando vaya, descanse mucho, eh, tome mucha agua, take, eh, tome esta medicina. Esas son como los imperatives. Okay. Cuando usted está pidiendo un favor a alguien, por ejemplo, usted va a la tienda o al súper y usted necesita algo, ahí ya cambia porque usted puede utilizar el can. Can I have uh, some rest, por ejemplo? Okay. Pero en la otra es cuando nos dicen, eh, no hagas esto, no hagas el otro. That is the imperative. Okay, let's review this. Vamos a revisarlo. For example, get some rest, right? Descansa mucho. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill a day. This is in the doctors, right? Or do some exercise. Do some exercise. También nos dicen los doctors, avoid, avoid sugar, right? Avoid. Sugar or avoid junk food with the mask. Knife. Junk food. La comida chatarra, right? Or do not eat. Do not eat junk food. Okay? That is what the doctors. Or don't, también. Don't. Don't eat junk food. We are not doctors, right? Okay, so we use it in this way. Si se fijan acá, no utilizamos ningún sujeto. Just a bear. Mm -hmm. That is like the imperatives. Like uh, some ways to order a person to do something. Okay, so questions about the imperatives? No sé si hay dudas. Solo que, como repito, right, cuando vayamos, por ejemplo, que nosotros necesitamos algún favor de alguien, vamos a utilizar el can. Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Etc. So, questions? Mm -hmm. Questions? Okay, we are good. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jose? Puede repetir las últimas indicaciones que me confundí. Ok, ok. Estamos utilizando en este caso los imperatives, <coughs> right? Los commands, por ejemplo, que usted utiliza eh, para eh, ordenarle, let's say, algo a alguien. Por ejemplo, en el caso de los doctores, que nos dicen, descanse, get some rest. Get some rest. O nos dicen que necesitamos tomar agua. Drink more water, drink lots of juice. En el caso de la medicina, de la medicina, de la medicina. take one pill every, every evening. También en el caso de los papás, right? When they are bothering, when they are saying something to their kids. Don't stay up late, no te puedes hasta tarde. But don't drink soda, right? Don't work too hard. Uh -huh. So basically, los eh, imperatives, that part. Y les mencionaba en el caso, cuando usted está pidiendo un favor, eh, vamos a utilizar el can. This is como la difference, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. No problem. So let's practice this vocabulary. So we have call a dentist, right? Don't worry too much. To ask you, ¿qué verbo? 
podemos utilizar? What expression can we use? Take. Take. Mm -hmm. Take, right. Very good. We use stay. What about to school? Don't go. Don't go to school. That depends, right? Depending. That depends. <coughs> Don't go to school because puede ser que esté lloviendo. Okay, another one. Don't eat también, right? Don't eat in the school. Don't drink in the school, right? También las podemos ver como las normas que nos da la teacher. Okay, what about in bed? What about stay? in bed? Okay, stay, stay in bed. Yes, permanece, right? Stay in bed. Okay, what about a doctor? Drink. See a doctor. See a doctor, muy bien. See a doctor. What about coffee? Drink. 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 No, se don't drink coffee. Don't drink. <laughs> ya vimos quién toma mucho café. Don't drink. Pero lo han prohibido, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, it is not allowed for me to drink coffee. Okay. Okay. Okay, what about? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Sofía. Eh, porque ahí en vez de poner don't drink, no coloca not drink, como sale en el cuadrito. Ah, en in, in the case of the, en esta parte nos está diciendo que es una negativa. Entonces, como es negativa, vamos a utilizar el don't. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ok, no problem. So, what about any candy? Oh, what yeah. about? No me van a decir eat candies, no, right? Mm, don't <laughs> not eat. Do not eat, right? Do, do not eat. Not, do, do not, don't. Do not or don't, right? Not eat any candy. Very good. Okay, questions? Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay. So let's continue. Let's continue with more information. So you can tell me now, right? Some of the like sentences that are applied for every picture. Vamos a ver qué oraciones, right? So we have, I have a neuric. Tengo dolor de oído. Right? What about this girl? What problem? ¿Qué problema tiene ella? What does, um, she have a bad stage. Mm -hmm. okay. Muy bien. She have, perdón, she has, right? Has. Back. Has, right? She has a backache. Right? Backache. 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 Backtish. No, backache. 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 Lo estoy por acá. Back. La palabra back. La vamos a pronunciar. Back cake. Back cake. Back cake. Yeah, back cake. Well, back cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about number three? What does he have? He Feel. has. He has. Mm -hmm. And then. Head cake. Mm -hmm. No, feel dizzy. Yes, right. He feels maybe dizzy, mareado, dizzy. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. he, has. he has. He has. Has? Mm, he has dizzy. He has. He, he, he feels. feels. Feel. Muy bien. Mm. He feels, right? Feel. He feels dizzy. Muy bien. What about number four? He has tired. He, he has. Tired. Oh, okay. He, he feels, feels tired. Right. He is tired. All right. What about five? She has. She has fever. She has fever. Very good. Fever. Has fever. What about six? 
He has, he has, right? He has, he has, right? He has, he has, Okay, he has, okay. There it is, the information. Now you are experts. Okay, you can be doctors right now. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. And uh, we're going to read some of the ways to stay healthy right es la palabra improve mejorar también to stay healthy para estar saludables It's simple ways to stay healthy okay, let's see let's see that and try to read it right try to read it and pronounce the words let's see that and then we are going to discuss some parts. You can greatly improve your health in 10 very... Improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 very simple ways. One, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Two, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise. And exercise is necessary for good health. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight glasses of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six, Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Nine, wear a seatbelt. Every year, seatbelts save thousands of lives. 10, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Tips, right? We have some of the tips, right? That will help us to improve our health. Okay, so we have eat breakfast. A veces nosotros skip, right? Don't do the keep right the breakfast, and that is something that causes a lot of pain. No puede causar mucho dolor, right? Can cause, puede causar, cause pain in the future. So we have go for a walk, right? Salir a caminar, go for a walk. Then we have floss, floss your teeth. We have los dientes with your uh, with this type of uh, dental things that we use, crossing our teeth. So then we have drink eight glasses of water every day. I don't know how many glasses do you drink. How many glasses do you drink, Jonathan? How many glasses of water do you drink? I take three. Three, okay, glasses of water. And you need to drink more, right? Okay, then it says, for example, stretch for five minutes, get enough calcium, right? Con los dairy food, las comidas que tienen, um, what is the word, liquid, right? Dairy foods. And uh, then we have, for example, do something to challenge your brain. It's a good way. Yeah. Or avoiding Alzheimer, you know. Yes, there is a study that says that. Then we have take time um, for a break, protect your skin, and wear seatbelt. Okay. Questions about this, uh, this part? Can you say do that? 
No? Okay. So here you have uh, some of the ways to improve your health, right? Okay, so we're not going to practice these because we will practice the previous part. Page. Now it's time for you to watch this video. Okay, and you're going to tell me what they are talking. Vamos a ver este video. Ustedes me van a ayudar. To identify these words, right? Okay, I'm going to share. Uh -huh. Teacher, una, es la anterior imagen la podría poner otra vez, porfa. Uh -huh. Solo quiero... Quiero que ya copia. Bye. Ya, gracias. Ok, ok, perfect, Stephanie. Ok, good. So we have uh, this video, right? Vamos a watch the video. Okay. Vamos a find the words. Let me just share with you the speaker first, data rooms. And uh, then let's have the video. Let's see. Está lloviendo bastante. Okay. okay, no problem. Let's see. That's a problem. Okay, so let's watch this video. And then you help me with the with information. Okay. Here it is. Ya tenemos, do we have the, the exercise? Ya tenemos el Yes. Okay. Hi, Dr. Smith. Peter. It's good to see you. How are you feeling today? Not so good, Doc. Okay. Tell me exactly what's the matter. Well, I have an earache, mm -hmm. and it really hurts, and I'm a little dizzy. Mm, sorry to hear that. Let me take a look, huh? All right, here we go. Oh. Do you have a cough? No, I don't. All right. Do you have a fever? No, I don't. I feel pretty terrific. Mm. It's just my ear. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the pain, do you feel it all the time, or does it come and go? No, it isn't constant, just from time to time. Okay, good. Do you feel tired? No, I actually have a lot of energy. I actually go swimming all the time. Okay, give me an ah. Uh, thank you. So, do you go swimming every day? No, not every day. Mm. Probably three times a week. I think I see the problem. Is it serious? Oh, no. You have some extra wax in your ear. <sighs> Probably because you swim so much. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some medicine and you should feel better in a week. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm gonna give you some eardrops and some pills. Take one pill before breakfast. Use the eardrops before bed. One pill in the morning? Mm -hmm. Eardrops at night. That's it. Okay. And can I swim? No swimming for two weeks. But after that, you should be okay. Great. Thanks, Doc. No problem. Ow! Oh. Hey, Doc, are you okay? Oh, no. No, it's okay. Really, it's... Ooh, it's just my back. I have a backache. Is the pain here or here? No, it's down here. Okay. Does it hurt all the time? Well, only when I stand a lot and when I move, like... Oh. Okay, I have just a thing. Come on. Stand up straight. What? My father has the same back pain. I can help you. I have a lot of patients to see today. This will only take a minute. 
take your left leg, yeah. pull it up to your chest like okay. this, and turn your body to the right. Mm. More. Oh! Oh, I feel that. <laughs> You're not gonna charge me, are you? Okay, let's listen one more time, guys. Let's listen one more time, okay? Uh, I'm gonna try to stop the video for using the part that it is in the past. Okay, voy a tratar de pausar el video cuando uh, the, for the worst, right? ¿no? Parte. Sure. Para que ustedes, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si puede darle un poco más de volumen. Okay, okay, perfect. Sí. Let's see, what about this, in this way? Are you? It's good to see you. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's listen. How are you feeling today? Not so good, Doc. Okay. Tell me exactly what's the matter. Well, I have an earache, mm -hmm. and it really hurts, and I'm a little... Dizzy. Mm, sorry to hear that. Let me take a look, huh? All right, here we go. Oh. Do you have a cough? No, I don't. Okay. Do you have a fever? No, I don't. I feel pretty terrific. It's just my ear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the pain, do you feel it all the time or does it come and go? No, it isn't constant, just from time to time. Okay, good. Do you feel tired? No, I actually have a lot of energy. I actually go swimming all the time. Okay, give me an ah. Uh, thank you. So, do you go swimming? Okay, this part, pay attention because they're, over there they're going to find the waters, okay? Every day? No, not every day. Mm. Probably three times a week. I think I see the problem. Is this serious? Oh, no. You have some extra wax in your ear. <sighs> Probably because you swim so much. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some medicine and you should feel better in a week. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm gonna give you some eardrops and some pills. Take one pill before breakfast. Use the eardrops before bed. One pill in the morning, mm -hmm. eardrops at night. That's it. Okay, I just stop. There you you can find the the words, right? How many words do you have? Cuántas palabras tenemos? How many words do you have? Mm -hmm. How many words, guys? Mm -hmm. If not, podemos escuchar esa parte, okay? We can listen that part. Yes. Only four. Only four? No, it's okay. It's okay. Four. It's okay. Dejar esa parte. And let's see something. Creo que puedo hacer algo por acá. Okay, let's see. This one. And let's see what I can do. Okay. With that, we can, we can have it back. Let's see. Constant, just from time to time. Okay, good. Do you feel tired? No, I actually have a lot of energy. I actually go swimming all the time. Okay, give me an ah. Uh, thank you. So, do you go swimming every day? No, not every day. Mm. Probably three times a week. I think I see the problem. Is this serious? Oh, no. You have some extra wax in your ear. Probably because you swim so much. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some medicine and you should feel better in a week. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm gonna give you some eardrops and some pills. Take one pill before breakfast. Use the eardrops before bed. One pill in the morning, mm -hmm. eardrops at night. That's it. Okay. And, and that's it, guys. So let's try to answer this. Ahí estaba la We're going to do it together. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yes, and it's so rapid. Yes, 
And if you listen to these persons, uh, you will realize they are very special with their accent. A veces ni se les entiende, right? A veces, yes, you have to listen like very carefully. Even uh, Latin American people are very hard to understand. Y por eso tenemos que hacer en la pronunciación as accurate, right, as safe. Okay, so let's try to answer. We have, so do you swim in every day? And then we have, no, not every day. Probably. Probably. Right, probably. And then we have probably. Probably. Okay, and then we have three times a week. Three times a week. Okay. Three times a week. I think I see. See. I see. Very good. I see the problem. Very good. Is it? Is it? Serious. Very good. Is it serious? Very good. Serious. Oh. Mm -hmm. The magic word. Oh, no. Right. You have some? Water. Mm -hmm. You have some extra, right? Extra wax in your ear, probably. Mm -hmm. So much. Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm -hmm. Probably because. Mm -hmm. Because. You swim so much. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to. Give. Mm -hmm. so I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to give you some. They use a palabra. Medicine, what? right? Medicine. And you should feel. Better. That's better. right. You should feel better. Okay. Okay. Sound good. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to give you some. Mm -hmm. Some eardrops. And some feels, right? Thing. Take, take one pill before, before breakfast. Mm -hmm. Use the eardrops before. Okay. One pill. Ya vimos esto. it is. In the morning, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eardrops. What is that? Night. Yes, that's right. And that's that. See, that's it. Muy bien. That's it. It's just all right. That's it. Okay. There it is. So questions about. Eh, ya que tenemos un poco más claro eh, las palabras, podría poner nuevamente el audio para identificar en qué momento. Give me just a moment para solo copiar eso. Okay, let's see. Ya no se puedo compartir. Esta imagen, me indican si pueden ver la imagen. Yes. ¿Y el yes. video? ¿También? Yes. Ok. Pero, un poco cortado, pero sí. ¿Perdón? Sí, sí, está bien. ¿Sí está bien? Ok. Vamos. Y voy a empezar por aquí.
Do you have a fever? No. I don't. I feel pretty terrific. It's just my ear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the pain, do you feel it all the time or does it come and go? No, it isn't constant, just from time to time. Okay, good. Do you feel tired? No, I actually have a lot of energy. I actually go swimming all the time. Okay, give me an ah. Uh, thank you. So, do you go swimming every day? A partir de acá, escuchemos eh, el, el script, right? Ahí vamos a escuchar that part. Every day? Mm. Probably three times a week. I think I see the problem. Is this serious? Oh, no. You have some extra wax in your ear? Probably because you swim so much. <laughs> I'm going to give you some medicine, and you should feel better in a week. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm going to give you some eardrops and some pills. Take one pill... Before breakfast, use the eardrops before bed. One pill in the morning, mm -hmm. eardrops at night. That's it. Okay. Okay, they're just right. They speak like really quickly, but uh, this uh, to practice, you need to like uh, watch movies. Movies are a good way to learn this type of accent. Okay, so it's a matter of practice. You should have completely here in the chat box, tenemos the answers. También les voy a compartir el video para que puedan ver. Okay, practice, right? Okay, so let's continue. And now you are going to be the doctor, right? And one person is going to be the patient. You can use the previous, um, the previous conversation. Podemos utilizar the conversation. And uh, basically, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a elegir un role, right? A role play. One person is going to be the doctor, and the other person is going to be the patient. Okay? I don't know if you have questions about the activity. Here it is. So one person is going to be the doctor, for example. This person uh, has to ask the patient how he feels, uh, what do they do, for example, la rutina. Podemos tomar el ejemplo que vimos anteriormente del video. Okay? So basically, you can use this template and present your role. Okay, questions. Tratemos de cambiar, por ejemplo, los síntomas. Eh, por ejemplo, que el medicamento. So, that is the questions. Mm -hmm. yes. Questions. Yes, Alejandra. Es una conversación. Conversación igual a la. Yes. No, no la misma, Ray. Vamos a cambiar mm -hmm. la información. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. So let's go to the breakout rooms, prepare a conversation like the one we have. Preparamos una conversation, como esa. Y cambiamos, por ejemplo, la actividad que hacemos, eh, las veces, right? The symptoms, the medications. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms and you prepare your whole thing. Let's see. Let's Hello, Sofía. Se me salió por un momento y <laughs> me quedé fuera. Ok, Just don't worry. Let me see. Uh, with José. ¿Estamos con José? Ok. Ok. 
soon. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Let's see.
Why do you visit me? Hello, Stephanie, Alejandra, Hi, Emma. Emma. Hello. Ya no sacó, dijo la... Ya, ya, ya no sacó, dijo Stephanie. <laughs> Ok, do you have questions? A veces se asusta, van a creer, ay no, ya no se acuesta, vieja. Me ¿Qué? Perdón. Perdón. Ok, questions. No sé si quiere. Eh, teacher, ¿verdad que solo vamos a hacer una conversación por las tres? Sí, en este caso, como somos tres, podemos decir que las dos estamos enfermas, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. I'm I don't know, I feel dizzy, I have a headache, I'm vomiting all the day. What is that? Y el doctor le dice, you are going to be a mother. <laughs> so you can, like, say that, right? But that is just an example. Por ejemplo, podemos decir que las dos estamos enfermas, por ejemplo, que comimos algo que se hizo. Por ejemplo, and algo, something like that. Yes. Okay. No sé, question. Okay. Uh -huh. O la otra que, por ejemplo, no sé, que se siente mareada, dizzy, eh, que tiene dolor de cabeza. Y el doctor le, le dice, ¿verdad? Solo va a ser un doctor y dos pacientes. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, oh, vaya. Ahí pueden, okay. ahí pueden incorporarse, right? Sí, obvio. Okay, so let me know if you have questions about vocabulary or... Oh, mire, o podemos hacer así como lo normal, un, el doctor y una persona y como una, o sea, como una... Así que empiecen a hablar y, y, y ya sea Alejandra o Emma o yo, podemos decirlo. Porque yo digo, dos pacientes nunca ha habido, bueno, solo que mi mamá me llevaba con la chica. Ajá, eso se me, eso supuse, que como que si sí, la mamá estaba. Como que si sí, la mamá estaba, pero... O si sea, solamente una persona y, y irla haciendo entre las tres y cuando la pregunto, cualquiera de las dos diga algo, la, la diga. Que las tres las diga. ¿Qué dice? O sea, haciendo como el rol dos veces, el doctor. ¿A eso se refiere? No, no, no. O sea, no. hacer el normal, el rol uno, el rol dos, pero hacerlo entre las tres, pero que digamos, refiere... cuando usted no lo pida, que lo digan dos. Ajá. Pero entre las tres lo hemos hecho. <risa> es decir, va a tener una intervención. Por ejemplo, si yo soy la doctora, yo voy a tener la intervención de doctora. Uh -huh. Y en un momento Emma va a hablar y en otro momento de los síntomas va a hablar. Ella. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Pero siendo siempre, digamos, una sola paciente. A eso se refiere, ¿no? Estefanie. Estefanie. Yo interpreté. <risa> Todas entendimos yes. diferente. <risa> así es, así es, Alejandra, así es. <risa> es que en ese caso, o sea, está bien, pero en ese caso no practicaríamos como. Porque mi propósito es que ustedes practiquen, por ejemplo, que utilicemos el HAB, el FIDU. Entonces serían como un mismo diagnóstico, entiendo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero dos personas diciendo prácticamente lo mismo. Uh -huh. mm. No, en ese caso no. <risa> <risa> o sea, lo que pasa es que me encanta. No, yo lo que digo, no, yo lo que digo es que... Cuando ya, ya, ya les toca, ya nos toca hablar a cualquiera de las, o sea, como lo hemos hecho entre las tres, porque entre las tres le estamos haciendo, que dos personas digan el diálogo. O sea, dos personas, ya sea Alejandra y ella o, o yo, ¿verdad? Pero que cuando ya expongan esto, lo podrían hacer dos personas. Y hay una, no. Hay una, no. Pero ya después, o sea, si usted, usted quiere, yo, <risa> lo hago yo y con otra que... que Sí, lo mismo, pues, pero que sí. Wow. Hay que poner... forma, es bien difícil. Lo que podemos hacer, le propongo esto. Por ejemplo, que alguien que sea la doctora, ¿verdad? Entonces, que la doctora ocupe como las mismas preguntas, solo que eh, va a cambiar, por ejemplo, el, la enfermedad. Los síntomas. Va, está bueno. Mejor, ¿verdad? Ya. Yes. <risa> pues de tanto. <risa> Wow. Okay, okay. I let you work. Let me know if you have questions. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh.
Ahí está, se me había perdido en internet. Ok, let's continue, sorry. Hello, Magali. Hello, ¿cómo vamos? Hello. Hola, hola. Estamos ahí, Magali. Are you there? Hola. Hola, estamos trabajando en un grupo, Magali. No, teacher, yo no estaba en un grupo, he tenido problemas con el internet. Pero yo ya notifiqué a sus, a sus jefes. Perfecto, Ajá. perfecto. Estamos trabajando ahorita en los breakout rooms. Estamos haciendo una, un diálogo, una conversación. Vamos a elegir, por ejemplo, quién va a ser el doctor y quiénes van a ser los pacientes. Ahí. Ah, perfecto. Entonces, eh, trabajemos ahí con el grupo. Va a estar trabajando con Alison. Gabriela, que la puedan incorporar en la conversación. Ok. Um, okay. <ríe> Como que la voy a tener que cambiar de grupo, right? Let's see, let's see. Uh, es, que, es que me salgo, teacher. Tengo problemas con, con el Inter. Entonces, um, vaya, pero está bien. Ahí si no, no hay problema. Ahí me... Tenemos problemas así que nos está sacando el Internet. Me, eh, les puedo explicar a ellas, ¿ok? Y que va a estar de oyente si tenemos ese tipo de problemas, ¿right? Ahí está bien. Sí, ok, let's go. Vámonos entonces. Okay. Let's go, me vale.
Then we said that's it. Yes, that's it. Okay. Hello, Wendy, Dennis, Magali. Do you have questions? <laughs> yes. Yes. Qué rápido nos sacó. No, todavía no. Ahora estamos con preguntas, right? Yo creo que no, no vamos a pasar este día hasta, hasta mañana, ¿verdad? Como ustedes me estaban diciendo que querían la clase mañana. Monday. <laughs> Monday. Good Monday. 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 <laughs> ok, yes. Todavía vamos a tener tiempo para practicar. Do you have questions? Um, what is the meaning comida chatarra? Junk food. Junk food. Junk, junk food. Junk food, yes. Recordemos que cuando vamos a dar, por ejemplo, el doctor, right? en este caso estoy segura que es Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> right, for sure. Right. Right. Ya no, ella le va a decir a Dennis, right? Dennis, <clears throat> don't eat junk food, right? Mm -hmm. Don't eat junk food. Muy bien. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't eat junk food. Okay, no sé si hay dudas. Any other yeah. questions? No. Okay. ok, les dejo trabajar. Si se termina eh, a las 9, nos podemos retirar. A menos que ustedes tengan, al, eh, si quieren quedar unos 10 minutos más. Este, no, una pregunta. Este decía, por ejemplo, cuando yo doy, por decirle, le digo, abat, abat indigestion, como una mala digestión. Do you have a bad indigestion? Ajá. Ajá. Okay. Yes. Do you have a bad yellow responder, right? También, si les, si les sirve, les voy a compartir esto, porque a veces tenemos dudas con, con las palabras así de, de no sabemos cómo pronunciarlas. Entonces, eh, usted eh, va aquí al Google, el que más usamos es el translator, ¿verdad? Entonces, acá. Acá nos sale como la pronunciación. Y si usted le da acá. Indigestion. Le va a aparecer la pronunciación. También acá le puedo ver cómo se pronuncia. Y le va a aparecer una página de cómo se hace. Right? Y hasta le va a poner videos. Por si a veces tenemos dudas de alguna palabra. Eso nos puede ayudar. Es una muy buena. ¿Ese es en Google? Ese es en Google. Este es el Google Translator. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Acá está, sí, le voy a dar acá. Tiene usted la palabra, right? Uh -huh. Entonces acá, con la traducción, right? Entonces acá usted. Voy a poner acá en el ID. No, creo que. Así que. Creo que así, así se escribe. En digestión. No, no. En digestión. Ajá. Entonces acá le va a aparecer el inglés. Y se viene. Quiero escuchar la pronunciación. Indigestion. Y ahí la pronunciación. También les puedo funcionar. Para palabras, right? De medicina hay un montón, right? A lot, a lot. Es inmenso ese mundo. Ok, I let you work. A las nueve se pueden retirar. And, yes. uh, ah, perdón. A las diez. Yes. Sorry. Yes, Alas, yes. And, is, and yes, right? No, no worries at night. Okay. At 10, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> you guys. Nosotros ya terminamos prácticamente. Creo que ya nos podemos retirar entonces. De solo terminemos hasta la hora porque les va a afectar al final a ustedes cuando estén pasando los de Insafor, los minutos. That's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Ya voy, ya voy, ya voy. Okay, guys, it's time. Uh, we are going to have this role play for next Monday. So you can go and uh, relax, right? Entonces, nos podemos retirar, guys. Ya les pasé asistencia para que puedan descansar, okay? So, 
see you next week and uh, rest a lot, right? Uh -huh. Hey guys, have a good night. Descansemos mucho, Karina, okay? Rest a lot, relax. To you too, Andrea. Mucho trabajo, mucho trabajo. trabajo. No, no, mucho trabajo. <laughs> Okay, tenemos un fin de semana. Ya la otra semana es la última, así que just a couple of days. Hey guys, descansemos. Have a good night and see you next Monday. Ya les pasé asistencia, okay? So no worries. Okay, uh -huh. okay thank you. Bye. See you. Have a good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Si alguien se quiere quedar, I'm gonna be there ten minutes. Good night. Alejandra, sí, se lo voy a mandar sí. en, el, en el WhatsApp, pero aquí okay. de aquí todos para que lo tenga. Ok. Bye. No. <risa> Adiós. Ay. Yo le escribo en privado, Stephanie. La busco ah, y le escribo en privado. Ajá. Vaya, dale. También a Emma. Porque no nos demos cuenta, right? Ajá. <risa> okay, <risa> okay. Teacher, una consulta. ¿Es Alejandra? Fíjese que me pasó algo con... con la plataforma que no me aparecía el examen, el, un, como uno, no sé cuál, o sea, los había realizado todos y había uno que no me aparecía, eh, y yo lo hice y no, me, no se guardó, no sé por qué. El, es, hicimos Entonces, el... Veamos. Ajá. Fíjense que, porque varios no lo han hecho. Es que no me aparecía, teacher, al principio no me aparecía, y después ya, ahorita ya lo logré hacer, pero hasta ahora me dejó hacerlo. A veces, porque a veces le damos como muchas veces. Puede ser ah, ok. Que... Uh -huh. okay. Sí, pues sí, tiene, tiene que hacer, pero... que tiene 25 puntos. Ok, pero sí, ya lo, ya lo hice. Lo único que me salía error en, en algunos, que uh -huh. vi que ya habían puesto en el chat, y revisaba la oración, pero yo decía, así es, no entiendo por qué. Y vi que había que agregarle punto, algo así puso alguien y ya me salió bien ahora. Tiene mejor la nota. Eh, creería que sí, porque ya me salieron bien, solo que es grande, ya las había hecho y me salían malas. Vaya, denme uno, solo unos minutos para revisar eso, porque si no, okay. si lo tenemos malo o tenemos muy bajo el, el score, tenemos que hacerlo, ¿no? porque uh -huh. se puede ajustar al final. No, no, es que ya las modifiqué todas, pero lo que pasa es que me salía error, porque al parecer había que agregarle un punto al final, pusieron los compañeros ahí. Sí, Entonces veces, ya lo volví a hacer. Uh -huh. A veces son los puntos, a veces son las comas, las mayúsculas. Ah, pues por eso, pero sí ya lo, ya lo realicé, teacher. Vaya, y bien. ahora yo no ah, también, sí. o hasta la otra semana, igual a ese del, del meeting. Tenemos la semana, la section 3 para esta semana. El midterm, ya lo terminamos, lo tenemos bien, estamos bien. Uh -huh. okay. Perfecto, estamos a okay. Alejandra. Perfecto. Thank perfecto. you. Okay, to you. Bye, See teacher. You. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. See you.